that I never stopped studying until I found out. And of course, one discovery leads to another. And every time I answered a question, a hundred more popped up until I reached a point, dear listeners, where I realized that if I studied for the entire rest of my life, there is not enough time in my life to learn what it is that I need to know. But I have learned enough along the way to impart some of my knowledge to you, and maybe you can help me find the ultimate truth that all of us, all of us, ultimately learn to look for. Although not all of us ever realize that we are looking, and most of us never even understand what it is that we are looking for, but some of us do understand that we are looking. The adepts of the initiates of the priesthood of the mystery school believe that they have found it and that they know all of these things, and I'm not really sure that they do. Because in my search and my ultimate illumination, <laughs> and yes, I have become, to a degree, illumined or illuminated, I have discovered that I am more illuminated than most of those who have gone through the process of initiation in the mystery schools and believe that they know more than I do. And it's not true. I have surpassed them by so far. And they believe that they are so far ahead that it has become difficult for me to place myself in any kind of of logical progression along a path that I am following and I know not where it will ultimately lead. But I know that many have been misled along this path and are worshiping the fallen angel that we know as Lucifer. Many believe that Lucifer and Satan are the same. Many people believe that they are totally different entities and that Satan is evil and Lucifer is not. But Lucifer rebelled against God, according to the Bible, and was expelled from heaven and flung to the earth to be the master of the material world, the master of the earth. Now, if Lucifer is indeed Satan, how this transformation took place, I am not wise enough to know. If they are different, then I have not yet discovered where Satan came from. If Lucifer is not Satan. Now, there are people who have professed to know the answers to these questions and have sat down and we have talked for hours. And I still am not sure that they are right or that they are wrong. And I'm still looking for the answer to that question. But I do know this. Ancient man witnessed something that he described in his oral history and in his writings. And it could probably be called the first UFO sighting in the history of the world. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning star? Now notice Lucifer was called the son of the morning star. He was also called the morning star. And there is a great mystery here. Because Christ also called himself the morning star. Now how all that fits together. I do not know, but I have been told by those who have been initiated in the mystery schools that Christ and Lucifer are one and the same being. However, I cannot bring myself to believe that. 
what you believe, of course, is your own business and is not my intention to make you believe anything, but rather to impart to you what I have learned over many, many years of study into the secrets of those who worship the ancient mystery religions in secret for thousands of years. For you see, that monkey who sat there squatting on his haunches in the desert, striking the earth and the pile of bones with this great thigh bone, was the first priest of the mystery schools. And it was this first priest who then began to initiate others into the secrets. And they are the ones who have been responsible, according to my research, for most of the scientific developments and the forward movement as far as material progress goes of the human race. For they were the learners. They were the ones who developed science. They were the ones who hid their developments and used their science and their knowledge and their secrets to govern others, usually not as kings, but as advisors and as priests and in all actuality the powers behind the thrones in ancient times and even today. They have ruled from the shadows, you see, and they call themselves the guardians of the secrets of the ages. And their first their first religion was called astrotheology or the worship of the heavens and their first object of worship was the sun the second object of worship was the moon and everywhere you see the mystery schools or the mystery religion you will see the symbols of the sun and the moon also known as Osiris and Isis and the child Horus, which I will explain the meaning of later. Right now, folks, we must take a break. Don't go away. I'll be right back after this very short pause. <laughs> 